the baby boomers, they're a historically narcissistic and selfish generation. That's why so many people dislike them so much. That's what they were, that's what they are. How do I join the Barcelona Boomers Club? Well, you probably need to find a time machine and get yourself born earlier. Then move to Barcelona. Welcome to Barcelona Boomers, brought to you by Unauthorized TV, starring Vox Day, this fat guy and his wife and Owen Benjamin. Today, on Barcelona Boomers, Farley and Elizabeth visit a cherished institution. The Boomers seek out indulgences in town. And Farley says goodbye to an old friend. Let's get to it. Nestled within the foothills of the rapacious mountains, exists a timeless institution. The Grand Boomer Hotel. It's where the Boomer intelligentsia vacation, when they're on vacation. With an idyllic setting, that only a Boomer can afford, one can take solace in the smell of crisp newspapers. The Grand Boomer provides a refuge for this ostentatious generation. A place to wallow in luxuries and solitude. Away from their burdensome families. Our Boomers Farley and Elizabeth are checked in and ready to explore the town. Welcome to episode 3. Maybe some food and shopping? Why not? Let's see if Elizabeth can spend all of Farley's money. I like me some indulgences. But first... See if you can figure out what's wrong with this thing. It won't crank up and everything seems to be put together, right? Till I see. Okay. It ain't got no gas in it. You see there, Scooter? Things are the simplest things first. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Farley strides through the streets like a colossus. What's the game plan, Farley boy? So you walk around to all the local restaurants, yeah, for a couple of euros, a couple of dollars, you get a nice little piece of food and a drink. Why that does sound tasty. And I'm gonna eat just the beef because I'm on the keto diet. Say what? The Gaylord diet? Very cringe. So if I seem a little cranky, it's because yeah, you look it. You'll notice that I'm going to take the bun off. Oh, please. Because as I mentioned, we started a keto diet a couple of days ago. Farley, stop. You're embarrassing yourself. So, this is my first meal of the day. Yeah, right. Stay tuned, there's more coming. There's more coming, all right. Hold on, I'm getting a call on my landline. I do pay for a cell phone too, but the landline is still good to have. Oh, it's Jesse Lee Peterson. Yes, hello Jesse. Happy Why History Month. Um, so how are you? All is well. Are you celebrating Why History? Um, no, I don't think so. You're not, and why not? It's just not very appropriate. <laughs> Amazing. Do you love white people? That's ridiculous. I love all people, I'm Jesse. I'm not asking about everybody. Do you love white people? Jesse, I don't know where you're <laughs> going with this. Amazing. Are you for the wall? 
Well, it's complicated. Beta! <laughs> All right, Jesse, my friend. It's been fun, but I have a show to finish. It's amazing! All right, you take care. Uh -huh. All right, you too, buddy. Thank you. Phew. That was interesting. Controversial signs are popping up in Winchester about Muslim women that are causing confusion and outrage. It says Islam is right about women. They read Islam is right about women. It's unclear who they target, women or Islam. Oh, that's disgusting. I don't know what it means, but it's offensive. And in the case of this one, absolutely right. So, we're off to stop number two. Number one was great, now we're gonna go get some lentils with meatballs. Farley has broad shoulders, and can walk among the peasants with impunity. Back in the day, he was a mean dude. They called him Corn Pop. He would hang out at the local pool. Kept his straight edge razor rusty, he'd rub it on the curb or put it in a rain barrel. Here's our man. Gay. Look at all those tapas. So, we've got a little journey ahead of us here today. Despite the map, the boomers are lost. Farley has no clue where he is going. Maybe this place. Damn, we will have to keep trying. Might be a good time for a break. We'll be right back after these messages. This video is sponsored by Boomer Brow, the only high fiber tapioca flavored beer designed specially for boomers. Each boomer has their own flavor designed for their own group of pay pigs. First we have Farley's High Fiber Vanilla Pudding Beer. The only beer made with Metamucil and so effective it will have you shitting solid logs in hours. Then we have Teddy Spaghetti's Alt-Right Low IQ Lager. It tastes about as shitty as a dork stream is to watch. Preferred by gammas worldwide and over 6 million soul. Lastly and most definitely least we have Owen Benjamin's High Fat Anti-Semitic Rand Pilsner. So high in fat it is guaranteed to give you bitch tits and childbearing hips, drinking this may result in extended bouts of intoxication followed by insane chew rants and hatred for minorities. Boomer brow, it's high in fiber and just what you need if you spend hours a day ranting into a camera about how everyone else is gamma. Pre-order yours today. Over 6 million sold to date. In my mind, that made sense. Make your shopping day a little easier. Mervyn's Dollar Day sale is going on right now. And that means great buys on clothes for kids. All this week, you can save on boys' clothes by Campus Latigra. Short-sleeve Latigra knits are the shirts all the boys will be wearing back to school. <laughs> 